What up, it's Jimbo. Just want to let you know, at the end of the video, I'm going to go over some editing stuff. And if you're interested, stay tuned to the end. Alright, roll the vid. You know, I was thinking, what if Anna was never a character? What if she went on her mission and never came back? What would we be missing when Anna's not in the game? Overwatch would be completely different without Anna. I mean, who would I play? If there was no Anna, I would probably be disconnected from every game. <laughs> no one to destroy Hog. Don't tell me you haven't done this before. No one to sleep and creep. Oh, I was like, where the heck is he? Say goodbye to those crazy Anna flanks. I doubt no one has the patience to deal with the charging run. It was at this moment that he knew. No more insane sleeps. Villains. Time's up. Gotta end this fast. Bossy move! Think you can take me alone? He needs some milk! How the turntables... Incredible nanos will be missed. I'm gonna need a that should be ready. Get back in. Look at that! Get in there! Get in there, Bastion! No more Anna Snipes. The world believed that I was dead. I thought perhaps that was for the best. I've lost so much in my life.
I've said goodbye to so many friends. I've buried the ones closest to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. Alright, this is the first time doing this. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm going over a couple of editing tips. And the first one is match your music with your clips and this is what I mean if you're making like a gaming video or a YouTube video you see all these cuts at the bottom uh, and like I adjust the levels of uh, volume depending on the clip from above but like adjusting your audio to your clips makes a huge difference and like sometimes I mean this is the same song and it's only like a three minute song and I made it into like five almost a five minute like four minute uh, gig so I kept on like chopping it up you know matching the highs and the lows you know if it goes high um, I usually have something exciting happen but if it's like during like right here this is like a chill area so I'm putting in some chill scenes like just usually the faster the music you want to have faster cuts uh, the slower the music you want to have long drawn out clips so it, it depends so the second is organize yourself and you can see right here oh so this is Adobe Premiere so if you if you're not if you don't have Adobe Premiere it's fine. I know some some of this stuff can apply to other uh, programs, but like if you see on my left, this is my uh, panel to the left it like organizes everything. Now I purposely organized it um, because because it's just there's just so much stuff into it. Like if you open this file, it's just, just even Eclipse. There's just so much stuff in here. It's pretty cool. So this little blending mode, it's actually called blending mode actually right here, and you can adjust. Um, the blend of the opacity. Well, oh, that looks cool. But like, uh, you can adjust uh, the blending mode in the opacity section in your effects controls area, and you can adjust, you know, whatever color mm -hmm. uh, you want. You gotta make sure the clip is on top of a, another clip. So the top clip is the one gonna be blending through the bottom clip. But anyway, that's those are my three tips. So uh, I'll see you next video. I'll probably do it again. Depending on the feedback, I'll probably do another tips thing at the end of the video again. So I'll see you in next video. Where are the turtles? Where are they?